Nurses, paramedics, and county officials all came out today to protest possible closures within Crozier Health System. The main facilities and programs are at risk, and they are in the mental health and rehabilitation services. Our Kelly Rule was at today's protest with those health care workers. Kelly? Well, Jason, speaking with some of these workers and local county and state leaders, they say they are fighting to keep these services open. They also say this is proof that it's time to no longer let for-profit companies run our health care systems. They say if these closures happen, not only are real lives at stake, but, could, but it could also make it really hard to reopen some of these services. We're scrambling, not knowing where to go first. Susan and Michael Rubenstein say they're in panic mode, trying to ensure their daughter will have somewhere else to go for mental health treatment if her outpatient services close next month as planned. I've been on the phone and emailing for over a week now, trying to find new services for her. And of course, there's uh, the wait lists are very long. Those services, along with inpatient and outpatient substance abuse and crisis services, are among those set to close in June across Crozier Health System's four Delaware County hospitals, according to the county, unless they pay some $24 million to Crozier's for-profit, California-based owner, Prospect Medical Holdings. We're going to have more depression, more suicide, more overdose, and now we're not going to have the services for these people. It's criminal. They care about profits. Why do we let for-profit companies run healthcare systems? Save our hospital! It follows a slew of other closures that started in January, and it's why dozens of healthcare workers and county and state leaders rallied in Upland today. The county says Crozier also announced they will scale back on advanced life support response, or CHASE cars, which are single medic providers for the county's lowest income municipalities. They're going to be waiting a long time for an ambulance or apartment. You said, I mean, minutes are lives. Yes, seconds are lives. Prospect is in talks of selling the system to nonprofit Christiana Care Health System. The county says Prospect argues the closures are due to pandemic impacts, but they point to the $72 million in pandemic relief funds Crozier received in addition to county money. Council members tell Fox 29 the talks for solution are ongoing, and they are working with other providers to ensure people in need of these vital services have somewhere to go. As long as I have breath to breathe, I will fight and believe that we're going to be able to do this for these people. Now, a spokesperson for Crozier Health told me today in an emailed statement that they do share the union's commitment to providing safe, high-quality patient care and that they tried to meet with union reps and address their concerns to prevent the picketing today. Still, they did not directly respond to our comments and questions about these closures. Sheena, we also reached out to their owner, Prospect, and we're still waiting to hear back. All right. Hopefully we do soon. Thank you, Kelly.